this way to the center of the universe. What you're about to watch, if you're gonna watch it, is, um, it was actually shot for another video, and uh, so if it seems a little bit out of place, it is. I needed to find the center of uh, a circle uh, for my foundry, and I thought, well, I'll make a circle finder thingy. Uh, and so this is what I did, and I'd have, I, it just didn't seem to fit in with the rest of the video, plus it made it like an hour and a half long. Or, so I went ahead and go, I just went ahead and pulled it out, and we're going to put it here. So if it seems a little bit out of place, it is. Okay, here's uh, what I got. I just cut some angle iron roughly at 45. <laughs> and we're going to put it together here with my framing square. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to weld in this little piece of uh, square stock. Basically to sit in here just like this. And uh, actually, it'll be on the other side, but uh, in theory, all I have to do is figure out the length of these things, do the math, and I can find the center point and lay it out there, and I'll have a center, and we'll show you how this uh, this thing ends up working. So let me get this tacked together first, and uh, we'll get the other side welded up and see what we can do. Looks like a right angle. All right, so now the next thing to do, it looked like a right angle until I uh, turned it over. <laughs> All right, here's my theory. Independent of the angle, because I'm no longer at 90, uh, I should still be able to do a squared plus b squared is c squared, and then take a half of c squared and uh, and, and get it figured out. So these are, these are each nine inches long now. I marked it out. So I'm going to need to find the square root of 81, which is, all right, I'm old and it's been a long time since I was in school. <laughs> a squared plus B squared is, so it's 81 plus 81. Square root of 162 is what I really need. And that comes out to 12.72 inches. So I need half of that, which is going to be 6.36 inches. Measure that across there and we'll find the center line. Got it pretty close to get around the center here, and I need to I may need to move it over just a pretty good. And this doesn't have to be exact um, because I can put a couple of lines on there and I'll find pretty darn close to the center, especially for what I'm going to be doing with this lid. Uh, enough, uh, but uh, I want to make it, I want to make it as close as I can. But so let's go ahead and get this tacked on there and this thing will be done. Okay, I'll talk over the top of my welder that takes forever to cool down. So, I got this up against here. I'm just going to, I can't find my Sharpie, so we're gonna open pray that that pen works. There is one mark. There's another one. Ow, man, that thing is hot. 
All right. It doesn't look to be perfect. All right, there you go. Actually, pretty darn simple to make this thumb thing, and uh, it worked well enough for what I needed to do. Uh, uh, maybe it'll help you out a little bit. Take care. Have a great day. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.